Hello, folks. This is Pastor Steve Cape with the Hillside Baptist Church here in Hickson, Tennessee. And I'm coming to you today on this video on this Saturday, December the 24th, Christmas Eve. I wanted to send you a short video to remind you about tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow is the 25th of December, Christmas Day, but it's also the Lord's Day. And I want to strongly encourage you to be in the house of the Lord tomorrow. Many special things are taking place and happening here at 9.50 for our regular scheduled Sunday school hour. We will meet together, everyone assemble together in the Phillips Hall, and we're going to have what we're calling Pastor Cape's Pancake Breakfast. Start at 9.50. Make sure that you're here sharp. We'll be able to have breakfast right away ready for you at 9.50. Uh, we will then stop at about to 10 minutes after 10, and uh, we'll have a little bit of singing to get right on into the lesson of this week. Uh, great truths learned from lesser known people of the Bible. And we've been looking and studying about Elizabeth and Zechariah, so don't miss tomorrow. We'll finish that and complete that tomorrow. And then, of course, uh, the morning service begins at, at 11. Um, we're calling tomorrow uh, God's Gift Sunday. Uh, God's Gift Sunday. It happens to be the second uh, Sunday, second special Sunday uh, for our miracle offering leading up to the 25th anniversary of our church, of uh, paying our church uh, debtedness off. And I praise God for all the funds that have been coming in already. So don't miss tomorrow at 11 o'clock for the evening sir, or for the morning service. I'm preaching a special message tomorrow morning. I believe it'll be a great challenge. I believe it will encourage your heart. And then, of course, um, don't forget about tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, a very special day we're having here. It is a, um, a service that begins at 6 o'clock. It'll uh, conclude promptly at 7. Uh, but we're having an old-fashioned candlelight service. Uh, we're not going to be using the PA system at all. What we are going to be using is our old-fashioned pump organ here at the church. We're going to sing the Christmas carols. We're going to have a message from the Word of God. That'll be an encouragement to your heart, so don't miss it. May I remind you again what to Christmas is all about? It's the fact that God sent forth His Son to become flesh. He became man so that you and I could have life eternal and all of our sins could be forgiven. Uh, according to John 3, 16, that familiar verse of scripture, God sent forth his only begotten son um, and he came to die for us. And then, of course, we know in the book of Galatians that the Bible tells us, but when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, a maid of a woman made under the law. And, of course, uh, Jesus became flesh for me and you so that he may walk among men for 33 years without sin and come to die for my sin and your sin and the sins of the world so all of us can have the hope of eternal life and going to heaven if we by faith trusted him as Savior. So that's what Christmas is all about. I love family gatherings. I love uh, to get together with loved ones and family. So let me strongly encourage you to uh, bring your family to church with us tomorrow and be here. Did you know that tomorrow uh, will be the last time that uh, Christmas falls on a Sunday for the next 11 years? It'll not be until 2033 that we have another Sunday like that. Um, your kids are going to grow up. Your children will, and, uh, and many of them will never know of another special Sunday like we're going to have tomorrow uh, because it falls on Christmas Day. So let me encourage you. As a matter of fact, out on the church sign, we've got a little statement that says, Yes, Virginia, we will have a church on Christmas Sunday. And uh, so, yes, we will have church tomorrow. So don't miss it. Bundle up. It's still going to be cold. But we're grateful and thankful for the power being on here at our church. And the heat is warm here in the auditorium right now. And uh, so we look forward to seeing you. From my family, from Mrs. Kate, myself, as well as Heather, we want to uh, wish each one of you a very Merry Christmas and, of course, a Happy New Year that's coming up here in just a few days. And thank you so very much, again, for your love for us and your, your love for your church. Have a great day today, and we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, take care now.